good afternoon friends today we are going to learn about how to simulate a 3d component with the help of nx software so first of all uh, what is meant by simulation is a simulation is an appropriate imitation of the operation of a process or a system that represents its operation over a time okay so today I'll explain how to do an analysis that means frame analysis for the 3D component. Okay. For that, I'll let you design Jason either for 3D model on this one day. Okay, double click on that, it will be open in NX software. Okay, it will take some time to open this. Okay, this is the part where we can uh, generate a simulation process for this part. Okay, analysis. We can do uh, analysis, structural analysis for this uh, chain gate by using NX software. Okay, for that, uh, please click a file. The next, there is a post process there, pre and post process. Okay. When you click on this link, this uh, link will be automatically take you to the simulation navigator. Okay, so this is called a simulation navigator bar. So in this, uh, what is the part to open? So that part will be displayed here. Okay, this is the simulation file view. The file view will be open like this. Okay, the next you have to do a FEM finite element method for generating a analysis so for that I will select new FEM so I always should uh, select NX NASTAN for simulation purpose click ok ok it will uh, generating a part with simulation so this is a CAD part okay then next if you want to create an ideal rigid part you can create otherwise you have to do in the original part itself then next solver environment so you should select solver as NX master and analysis type so what are the types of analysis there are uh, so many types of analysis uh, processes are there right in computer aided engineering in the domain of computer aided engineering so in analysis type so there are some few examples of uh, <coughs> analysis types are there so first one is structural so whether you would uh, measure a thermal measure the temperature then you use thermal analysis otherwise uh, you can directly use structural analysis so axisymmetrical structural axisymmetrical thermal so acoustics will be used for sound and measuring vibrations and sounds. Okay, so I make it as a structure and to this organization click as none. Okay, then click OK. So it will create a body of uh, computer engineering. Okay. Then after you have to assign a material. So click assign. So choose whatever the assign, assign, uh, assign material you want to choose. Okay. So before going to that, you have to select a body. So this is the body. And then next select the material types. So I will select iron L60. So based upon your requirement, you should select whatever the required material you want. Okay. Click OK. Then next you have to apply a mesh. So what do you mean by mesh is so this 
this one is very important aspects so what will be by meshing meshing is an integral part of engineering simulation process where complex geometries are divided into simple elements that can be used as discrete local approximations of larger domain okay then this mesh influences the accuracy convergence and speed of the simulation okay these are the uh, uses of a mesh okay so there are uh, 1d mesh 2d and 3d mesh are available here tetrahedral meshes so based on the requirement we have to set up all these things okay so i am selecting the 3d model and select a body so please hold the left mouse button and select drag like this so the body will be selected then there are types of uh, element properties so they are defined as four noded element whenever it is required so whatever the required uh, elements you have so for the calculations and click so the click apply so it will take some time to generate a mesh geometry of the particular 3d model okay actually it is the processing right so generating a domain surface meshing process will be generated the next the uh, value meshing is in process okay so after successfully applied a 3d mesh so the body will be look like this okay all will be covered with the meshes right what will be next right okay the next Completion of uh, applying mesh. So what are we going to do is we have to generate a simulation process. Okay, before going to that, so this is the tab for the button for uh, for solid nanoed materials. In this, uh, the predefined materials will be displayed here in this option. Okay, with the one of the element, I have to select. The next physical properties of the particular body. The next, so in the more itself, the other method will be available here. Okay. The next nodal elements. These are all uh, elastomeric ladder. Okay. Then, after successful completion of meshing. Okay. So please go to the fem file and click new simulation. And uh, make uh, make it as uh, an X NAST and simulation and units of uh, the millimeters to standard one part. Okay. Then the, you have to select a path, right? So the path will be user client desktop gear. Okay. So in a folder open JC gear open JC no. And then a simulation and then form out it. Okay. Then next click OK. will be redirected to on the solution tab so in this 
So first, should you have, should give the name. What is the uh, you should give the name of the solution is. The next solution type. So if you need to, uh, if you want to give any solutions like global constraints or sub constraints, or some uh, super elements, real eigenvalues, eigenvalues, gaun gun dev, often called super flexible bodies. So these are all of the types of solution types. Okay. The next tip and highlight this element iterator solver for automatic solution. Why? Because if there are any errors or present in our 3d model so this element you try to solve will uh, ignore this yes then click ok ok so you will get a solution like this so on that you have to give a constraint so based upon your constraint the part will be moved and then Cylindrical constraints and Q, then set object. So which one is? So this is the cylindrical surface of the object. Okay, and as its rotation, we should take it as a three. Why? Because so the low, amount of the load applied on the gear will be while rotating the body. That means, man, ki yaka load applied to the anedi. Sales call and one day, man, rotate just no play sales call. Then click OK. Okay, after uh, applying the constraint successfully, so the constraint will be looks like this, display like this. Okay, then next, the load the thousand newtons and select object. So at where so I will take as one gear teeth okay and specify a vector the vector should be always downwards why because the load will be applied on the upward direction okay then click ok so after uh, successfully applied load so the lower symbols will be shown like this. Okay. Then after so click as a top view. Okay. Then next. So right click on this solution tab and click solve. So this solve will solve the whatever the possible relationship uh, up to now we are entering. So, this solution is just that the result and it generate just okay. So, the solution will be generated like this. Statics and user information message output bin. Okay, the maximum size from the record server seven words. So, resultant about original supplement basic co coordinate system in supplement basic system coordinates. Then, after okay, the result will be running. Okay. Actually, it is checking checking the solution. So that's why uh, it, it takes some time. Okay. Then after uh, one point, the box is there. So the solution is completed. Do you want to review or not? So then click OK. Then minimize this one and this one and cancel this one. Then click on the result. Okay. The structure result will be appeared looks like this. Then after click structural double click on the structural file 
okay you will directly navigate it to result type okay then next click structural and displacement order so these are uh, these are the different types of uh, resultant structural structural resultant for your model okay then click display and click magnitude double click on this that so you will get a animation box is highlighted and then click play okay while rotating the gear so there will be a variations on the gear itself right so on the eighth frame you will get the maximum value of 6.71 okay this is how you have to analyze the structural analysis for nx design for a 3d component only a 3d component not an assembly so similarly you, you have to do assembly also okay then click stop so in the x axis on the x axis there will be uh, like this okay the red zone will be uh, danger zone okay green will be good zone this is how we are doing a structural analysis for a 3d model okay then next y axis Axis. So the axis will be the, the variation will be here changed, right? See, so on the x axis the variation will be changed. The y axis. So the maximum load will be applied on this based upon the application of load. On the axis the maximum load will be not applied on this. Okay. This is the displacement models and next rotational load models. So this is the rotational model of X. And there is no rotation, there is no change in rotation of X. Okay. And let's check them again. So on X is plane. Y Y Z Z X Z and determinant mean. So these are some of the one message series values that would be generated automatically. and select the reaction okay so this is how the level kick and click animation so this is how we can measure structural analysis values for a 3d component okay okay we'll see that's it if you want to go to home then click this button return to home okay if you do any modifications or any changes then you have to do do it and again you have to solve right click and solve then after you will get the result click okay okay that's it this is this is the This is how we generate a 3D component for a structural purpose, structural analysis purpose. Okay. In the next, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you.